Welcome to Grandma Jane's Attic. I'm Devin. I'm Siobhan. And we're here with a snip on our three favorite knitting aids. A knitting aid is a item that we use while knitting. And not necessarily it, like... It doesn't... So in the engineering world, in my world, we have tools, fixtures, and aids. A tool is something that does the work. A fixture holds your work. And an aid is something that assists. So we thought it was, here's three of our things that we use that just kind of are there. They assist you while you're knitting. They make it just that much easier. Just that much easier. And I think as moms who work, our number one aid is the knitting light. Because we are night knitters. Yep. <laughs> yep. And in okay. in New England, like I mean, we're finally getting sun like sunset at like five thirty instead of four, you know. So, yeah, knitting lights are important. And so mine, I so I typically use just one because I don't want to, and I'm usually using it while like my family is watching mm -hmm. or playing video. I got one light, and I direct it right to my knitting. And it doesn't bother anyone. They at least don't complain. Yeah. And if and we'll have a whole other conversation. But <laughs> you know, um, yeah, this is literally and I bought a rechargeable one. Same. So mine it's um it plugs into the wall. I yeah. don't even know how long I maybe charge it once a week. Oh I use I, it every, I use it every night, a minimum of two hours. I was going to say, I think, I don't remember the last time that I charged it before, like, two days ago. And it uses the same charger as my phone, so, like, I can just plug it in during the day, and then I'll probably have it for a month. And, like, I, mine... Uh, uh, I know. Two weeks, that doesn't, I don't, I should clock how long. It's yeah. a long time. I it's can tell, time. though, because yeah. mine gets very dim. It, gets like, dim. it starts to dim, and I'm like, man, this is not working as well as I thought it should. Or yeah, if I'm like, well, I'm really tired. And I was like, no, it's because I literally can't see and it's going to put me to sleep. Because this yeah. is bright. This yeah. is an LED. It's Mine has three settings. I think yours does too. Yep. This is a no name. I I think when I bought this, how I, I want to say five, six years ago, I've had this thing forever. I put in pink knit, neck light. But that's what I searched. And yeah. that's what. So you can put in. If you Google knitting light, there is a very beautiful, very sleek Lumos and Lumos. It's 50 bucks. I got this on Amazon in two days for 20. I I just looked mine up and it was 15. Yeah. So you can see though, like mine has some breaks, like in the full bendable neck. I've worked, like bent it enough that it's just broken in a couple of spots, but <clears throat> I don't like that. Okay, so like mine comes apart here. Yeah. But I am the only one that touches this. I literally hang, I hang it on the couch cushion with my next to my knitting bag and off I go. I don't bring it in the car. I'm not a car knitter. I am. And I do bring it in. So, so I can't, I don't bring it in this at night. Not that I'm I, I will don't even say. Have it. I have brought this in the car and that was the one time that my husband complained about my neck light because I was sitting in the front and he was trying yeah. to look to see if anyone was coming and my light was just glaring yeah. off the window, you know? So yeah. that's the only time that he's ever complained. Otherwise, just like you, we do date nights on Mondays and Fridays where we finally sit and watch TV together and I knit with this light on and he doesn't complain. Yeah. <laughs> so. These are great. Great. Yeah. I love them. Especially if you're busy during the day and can't sit down to knit and you're like us where you just knit before bed. You don't, like, and you don't have a giant, like a nice reading light or something. Yeah. Like I don't have that. Mm -hmm. If the lights are bright or lights are off with the TV on. So. Yeah. Yeah. So item number two, what is your, you want to present number two? My number two, <clears throat> a lot of people in the knitting world know them as barber cords which I believe Devin has, but I'm going to let you in on my little secret. And I found this pony bead lacing at Michael's at a craft store. And I think I got four 
spools and this is one this isn't even a full spool of what i got this is pieces have been cut off this is another piece that was cut off of another spool but i think i got four big i don't even want to give you an amount because i i don't know how accurate i'll be but it was like five dollars maybe seven it was and i got this at least three years ago and i'm still using it but essentially yeah yeah, barber cords come if you buy like what i have i bought the tin because we didn't know i was like oh my god these are used as to help you when you want to try on a garment it could be used as a lifeline Mm -hmm. you um put them on the end of your needle and as simple as that you and you put push 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 and it like attaches itself for a lack of a better term and you can take your needle out this will follow it in so it's like you don't have to no longer take your needle on a waste yarn and try to weave it through or hope you don't drop a stitch you literally just take it and you pull Mm -hmm. and it'll go through i don't need to do this but i'm it's so simple that i don't care yeah you literally just pull your needles out work all those stitches and this is, these are size one and a half needles. Yeah. Whether you're trying it on or you're starting a new project and you need the needles that's on something. Yeah. You're not yeah. going to, for an example, I keep dropping these. Just I, as yeah. an example, you know. Um, but if you were to buy the kit, this comes with three lengths. So I, I forget how long this is. Probably a good 60 inches. I'm up just about that tall. Mm-hmm. Um I think it's 60 inches and then two, maybe like 48 inches because it's supposed to be for a body and two sleeves. Yeah. Um, I inclusive too. Um, you can cut these if you wanted, if you don't need them that long, for instance, or exactly what Siobhan said. So this, the kit will cost you about $16, but I see it most local yarn shops. Um, and that will get you one sweater, mm-hmm. one project for the most part, maybe three, depending like what you're, you know, it's great. I, I have, I bought these, I cast it on a sweater. My sleeves are being held because it's great for sleeves. Mm-hmm. It is, it is. Now, and that's what I, Siobhan, and then that's what Siobhan's doing right here. I have, I, now that you say that it's great for sleeves. Yeah. My other sleeve is currently held. So I didn't even need to do that, but now I can show you how to put the needle back on. So it's literally just like a silicone hollow <laughs> tube. That's all that it is. Um, and you can tie it. It, I have no problem stretching it. I will say, so like, this is a solid color one. I also have these that are glow in the dark and they're like a little bit more translucent and they're a tiny bit more flexible. So they're easier to get onto the bigger needles. And I will add, I prefer metal needles. And Devin and I have talked about this where I think that that might also make a difference when you're using them. But I do have some wooden needles here that I'm just gonna slide it back. Yeah. I I prefer wood needles and I had them on a 10, I had a 10 and a half that I put mine on. So what I also like to do is I'll put them on each end of, and so instead of taking the needle out, cause I'm super lazy, mm-hmm. I'll put it on each end, especially if I'm trying something on just to see like, yeah. oh, is this the right length? And so I cap the ends and I'll stretch it on the needles and on a barber cord. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> I don't um, think it is. I think that it, like, I've never had them pop off. I And so here I am with a single strand mohawk hair sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Barber cord needle concoction that I put together. And it, and I, my, do not pull from the cord and like try to push mm-hmm. onto the needle. Cause I did that. I popped it and about 40 mohair stitches just collapsed in between. And it was like, <gasps> okay. Um, so do not, that do not do that. Like not use that. the needle as your guide. Do not use the barber cord. And it was, like I said, I do not, my wooden needles tend to be a little more blunt too. Mm-hmm. than pointy, So I think that has something to do with, yeah. You just don't get the same amount of surface area attachment. Yeah. between the needle and the tube yeah for sure I mean, wooden ones i think and i i think that's probably why 
you just have to be careful. Do not be a savage like I was and rip it. Do you just don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, when I found these, like I said, and like you're saying, I have some that are only like this long just to be almost like needle caps, you know, or what do you call them? Like stoppers, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's a really good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I'm, that. yeah, like I said, I could literally just cut this piece off and it would hold those two needles together without a problem. So I have, I have this pony bead lacing everywhere, everywhere. And I have yet to run out. So I never think to buy. I bought it. I lie. I bought it. Um, and I lost it somehow. Yeah. Um, yeah. You showed me it. Yeah, it was five dollars. Uh, yeah. Right. It'll turn up when I buy more. Exactly. You'll buy more and it'll show up. And so uh, I guess our third aid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I have <laughs> Um, for me, it is the valet trays I have. So this was the very first one I bought because I was notorious for just leaving stitch markers on the side table, on the couch, stitch markers are gone, all of that. So it was a collaboration between Birdie Parker and Gigi, um, that I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. <laughs> It came in a bunch of different colors. I don't believe you can still get the GG version on the website, but she does have, uh, Bernie Parker still has leather valet trays. Etsy has leather valet trays, right? So this is one that I like. I actually keep this um, on my desk with all my stick pins in it for when I do blocking. I like this tray because they don't stick through it at all. Yeah. Um, I just cleared it out so you guys could see it. Uh, well, what's your? I was going to say my tray, um, you know, you don't have to get the most expensive made for this, but Devin made me this tray. I don't even know why was this for my, your, wedding? my wedding. Was it your wedding? Okay. I can't remember. But yeah, so she just made this out of clay and put some lace on it and rolled the lace into it, added a little. I, that lace is actually. I think it was from our aunt's wedding dress, auntie's wedding dress. I think so, because I had a piece of it that I used in my hair, too. Yeah. I was, so I think that, I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it, like, it's perfect. I just put all my stuff in it, and I don't have to worry. It's all right there for me, and I didn't have to buy anything. <laughs> it works and, beautifully. And then, um, so this year at Rhinebeck... Um, I, I don't know. I always follow a thread and maple. I think their knitting tools aids are absolutely stunning. I love wood. I love leather. That's what they're all about. So at Rhinebeck, I went in their booth looking for this. Specifically. She knew she wanted that. I knew I wanted this. It is a cell phone holder and a magnetic valet tray. So those Did are you? my magnet, my metal. I use a lot of metal stitch markers. I prefer them. Um, and I like it literally is holding them. <laughs> Does your iPad fit into that slot too? Could you use your iPad or? Uh, you probably could, but my iPad, I have the pro, so it's huge. But I mean, this is me on a normal night with like knit companion up or yeah. something. Yeah. Or if I'm watching like headphones in. <laughs> right. There. I have it like this. Um, just, it, I love the thing. I absolutely love it. I mean, it holds, it's crazy because it's metal. So, I mean, now I have an, a darning needle sitting yeah. in there. Yeah. Not falling out. I feel like you could even, like, let's level this up. You could take, like, a massive safety pin and put, like, plastic stuff on it and just yeah. have it. I, yeah. 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 I mean, I, because I took the stuff out that was in it. My body <laughs> Out in here. My bobby pin is now in here. <laughs> but yeah, it it is. It I love it. I love it. So it it holds all of my doodads that are metal, which I apparently have a lot of. Well, I just like the phone. Ooh, I don't like stitch markers anymore until like I 
Mm-hmm. So I like, inevitably while I'm knitting with them. <laughs> right. Well, I sit here at night to knit and like I have my computer, a second computer screen over here. So that's where I watch my TV and I'm constantly trying to like lean my phone on something to check out my pattern, you know? So yeah. something like, works, that. like iPhone 13. So I don't, and it has a cover on it and it's still, it has like, a little bit of room. It does. And I, I like it cause I can flip it backwards and yeah. it has a better this way. I don't know. It must be, they must cut it a certain way because if I put it in backwards, it doesn't want to tilt the other way. And mm-hmm. sometimes I actually do this because I want my screen closer to me. I really oh. need learning. I need glasses. And so like, because this much difference makes a world. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Fred and, Fred and Maple. I mean, Birdie Parker, handmade, go to Etsy. Barber cords. Barber cords. Meeting Local yarn one. shop versus big box craft store. You are going to find, no matter what your budget is, you'll find these aids to help you. Thanks for joining us on our very first snip episode. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you like and subscribe so they pop up for you. We'll see you Bye. later.